Hey guys, it's me. I am so happy to be back on camera. I wanted to make say a quick thank you to all my new subscribers, all the people who have watched me and yet haven't subscribed, but that's okay. Um, we're going to get right into the look. We're going to use the Mario... Hold on. The Mario Babuski's um, facial spray um, to spray all over our face. I love it because it gives, gives you moisture back into your face. Um, and now we're going to go into, we're going to do my eyebrows first. I know it sounds weird to start off with um, eyebrows, but that's what I like to do. I will start off with my eyebrows and I'm going to use the LA Colors Brow Kit. It comes with a little brush and tweezers, which I don't use the tweezers, they're really tiny. Use a little brush, and then I use the I use these two colors for my eyebrows. I go in the outer edge with this color, and I go in on the inner edge with this color. Let's get to it. I didn't like the elf pencil that I used in my last video I just I don't know I just didn't like it I don't think I like pencils for say on my for my eyebrows okay. Okay, and we're done with that. Got powder all over my desk. Um, now we're gonna go in and do our eyes. Um, let's, oh, we're gonna play with my 35O palette. Um, see what look we can create with it. And at the beginning, I'm gonna take this color. And this color, we'll mix it in together. I'm going to start on I got one with those light colors to kind of give it a base. Because you don't want to go too dark with your base. You just want to have enough color for the other colors to sit on top of you properly. And then I'm going to go in with this color, this color, and this color, and darken it up. Do the same thing. Another one. And I put it all over as if I'm going to do like a cut crease, but I'm not. I need to perfect that before I show y'all my cut crease. And I'm going to go back in with the same red and brown color. Yeah. I'll put like the product on the palette and <laughs> my eye. Just gonna make sure it's all darkened up. And if you feel like it's too dark, you can always add a light color like this one or that one. I wouldn't recommend to lighten up with an orange. It's not really good to lighten up with an orange and don't worry 
about not getting the perfect crease because we do not use tape here. If you want to use tape, girl, do your thing. I do not want to use tape. It causes wrinkles even if you de de like de stigmatize it, I guess is what you can call it. Okay. And since I have them almost to the darkened color I want, I'm going to go in with my equal to, I didn't even tell you what brush I was using. I'm using the Real Techniques 201 brush and then I'm going to go with my equal to highlight. I'm going to take the brown shade we used already and I'm just going to go in and kind of buff things out, make sure there's no harsh lines, it's not too dark or anything. I'm going to do it on both eyes. Because you don't want to go too dark. And then, since I'm done with the crease part, I'm going to go in with my 35W. To open it. And I'm going to take this pretty purple color. In here. And I'm going to put that all over my lid with one of these. I got it from my eBay palette that my mom bought. My eBay palette, my eBay brush set that my mom bought for me. I'm just going to put it all over the lid if I can find out which size has put it. And if it's not coming out the pigmentation you want that's okay because you can always wet your brush if you have fallout that's okay you can always fix that and in a bit I'm just I really I don't like the way it's coming out without brush being wet and it's okay oops it's okay if you don't you don't you don't put it on the inner corner because I like to highlight my inner corner instead of putting product there And part of my lid is not taking color, so I'm going to quickly rub my finger into the color and just rub it where it's not taking the color. My eyes do that sometimes. And then I'm going to take just a tiny little brush real quick. Kind of rub away this excess powder that we don't need. Okay, and we're done with the purple so we can close that palette. Then we're going to take the Moonchild uh, palette by Anastasia, Beverly Hills, and we're going to take our finger and star blue eyes, this one. Okay, this one, this one, and we're going to go in, into the corner with our little smudger eco tool brush. And it's okay if you don't want to use the brush, you can use your finger. I'm going to go back and use my finger just to make sure I get it as highlighted as I want. Because I like a lot of highlight. Okay. 
And then you're going to take your smudger brush again and you're going to go in and blend out the harsh lines. No harsh lines, ma'am, ma'am. Okay. And we are done with the eyes. We just need eyeliner and mascara. I got something. Um, we're going to set my eyebrows with the Essence Lash of Brow Gel Mascara. I like to set my eyebrows and put some on my eyelashes. Just, just because. My eyelashes, I don't know why I like to do My eyebrows, I like to set them. Um, we're gonna curl them. I like to curl them afterwards. I have mascara on, not before, but we shall do before. My face is just I got right on my face. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with Matt, uh, Mark Jacobs and K. I think that's how you say it. It's his black eyeliner. And I'm just gonna go in with a quick line to line my to put the eyeliner on. And then we're gonna go and I did not even prime my face. Hold on, guys. We're gonna put in the Pore Professionals uh, Minimizer on real quick. I don't know why I didn't do that. I guess it just slipped my mind. No, it sounds weird. No. Oh. I do have kind of large pores on my nose and then we're gonna go in with my Too Faced uh, Hangover um, primer it smells so good I can't get over how good it smells Now we're going to take the Masterpiece, Master Precise by iStudio from Maybelline. This way, can't get used to the camera. I'm just going to go in over it. And I messed up on my eye. It's okay. Oh, let's take our smudger brush and kind of smudge. It'll disappear, guys. Um, and then we're gonna take our Mega Plush uh, Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. My it. And we're just gonna go in with the mascara um i like to say this real quick um if you aren't really into like 
experimenting with different colors and going out in them, that's okay. You you do you. If you don't feel comfortable wearing a purple uh, eyeshadow, that's okay. You know, it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I don't know why this is so hard to talk and do this. Um, it's not everybody's cup of tea, so you don't have to always do what everybody else is doing. And I put mascara on the bottom of my lashes. Um, so you don't have to do what everybody else is doing is what I was trying to say. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. You can always add a different color to it. Um, now we're going to do foundation. We're going to go... We're going to go in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Ooh. I'm just going to put some of that on my hand. A little bit does go a long way. And don't forget to close it, guys. You do not want foundation all over the floor. And I'm just, where did it go? There it is. Uh, we're going to go in with my Real Techniques 101 brush. And we're just going to put that all over our face. And a little bit does go a long way. Don't worry about messing up your inner corner. You can always fix that later. I like to go in with this brush and put my foundation on my face so I know I get it all over instead of kind of going with like a beauty blender first. I like to do this first. Do not forget to blend down your throat. Okay, and then we'll take our beauty blender from Real Techniques and bounce it a little bit of our skin. Oh, I just scratched on my face. That really hurt. Okay. We have that done. We're going to go in. We're going to go in with our Cody Airspring Loose Face Powder. Uh, and Translucent Extra Coverage. Can I just pounce that over our skin to set it. You can also use this to bake. Oh my god. Uh, I found this out from James. Thank you, James Charles. Um, it smells so amazing. Like, amazing, guys. You find it out one more. It's really cheap. It's like six dollars. Who does not want translucent powder that is six dollars? Come on, that works. You know you don't want to go and buy one that doesn't work. My lips were like chapped. Um. Then. So did that, da, 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 da. We're gonna go back and fix our highlight in our inner corner because in camera it does not look that good. Finger yet again. Mm. 
I'm going to highlight the brow bone. Okay. And we'll just set our foundation. We're going to do a spray real quick. good and then we're going to take our real techniques 300 300 brush and we're going to put star uh, to highlight our cheeks oh, look at that It's so like shiny right there. And if you feel like it's a little it's a little sharp, you can always take your beauty blender and go in and kind of bounce it on the area where you think it's not good. And we we're gonna warm up our face first because I don't like the way that this looks right now. We're gonna take the TARDIS Pro Glow palette. We're gonna take its um, brownie shade and kind of want to warm up our face because I'm not enjoying just being this color. Oh, it's like this. Y'all seen it. The inside of it. Yeah, it has a little plastic thingy in it. I like to keep that. And we're gonna take my Real Techniques 301 brush and it's brownie shape. And we're gonna warm up our face. Okay, once we're done with that, I will put the plastic back in because I do not want to ruin the palette. I'm going to take my beauty blender real quick and just kind of bounce it all over. and I'm going to do my lips I'm going to align it with the Revlon timeliner for lips and blackberry Ooh. Okay, and then we're going to go in with my 790 um, Midnight Merlot from Maybelline, and I'm just going to go over it.
I'm thinking. I completely missed that. Fix it real quick. <sighs> and this is the finished look. Hold on. Gonna take my clip. Oh, my hair's a mess. I'm just gonna clip this. And this is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please let me know what you like. Please like and subscribe. Um, I am here to help, not to harm. I want to help teach y'all. Yeah, I'm here to help. Okay. Y'all need any help, please let me know. And, um, and anything, please let me know. If y'all need help, I would love to help y'all. Please like and subscribe. Please let everybody you know I posted. Um, I want to say thank you to the uh, 17 subscribers I have. I know it's so sad just to have 17, but I will get there, guys. Do not worry. With all of y'all's help, I will get there. Um, I hope y'all liked this look. I know I'm really shiny. That is the highlight reflecting, guys. That is the highlight. I wish y'all could see it good. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please let everybody know about me. Like I said, if y'all would like to see anything, please let me know in the uh, comment section down below. I will link everything if I can find everything in the description bar down below for y'all. Um, everything, guys. I promise. If I can find all of the stuff that I used, I will. Hopefully I won't forget. Um, thank you. And just be you. Remember that. And I love y'all, guys. Thank you.